Hi everyone, I am very happy to say that the moment I've been waiting for has finally arrived. And there you go, you can see the foil. I'm hoping it's just going to come out quite easy and it's not going to be stuck to the side. I've been burning this candle for a little while. Um, the foil has been sort of showing for the last few days, but not quite enough that I could just take it out. I think this is the most I've seen it. And because I've been working a lot, I am really, and I keep forgetting to burn the candle. So I'm finally about to reveal the jewel. <laughs> Safety first, thanks for it. Oh, take this stuff stuck to my unit. I tried to end paint pouring and it was a bit of a disaster. I have got some here to show you, like these kind of things, but you can't really see the pattern that well. Bear with me a sec guys, I'll go get one of the better ones, I have got a, a better Okay, I'm back, I brought out these. I kind of like them. But I wouldn't know what to do with them. I would. I was. Oh no, that was. Oh, it's okay. It's, I thought I had kitchen towels stuck to it, but it didn't. The mistake I made was that I used metallic paint, so you can't really. You know, you can't really see the colours that well. But I said to the Mister, I said what I might do is, I might just either do a painting sort of over part of it, like a tree or something. Or I might try and repour them. Oh, that was mini. Like this one. I gotta admit, this one I do like. So I think this one I'm just gonna leave it as it is. But the others, I'm tempted to paint over them. Let me know what you think in the comments box below if you think these are worth keeping them as they are or painting over them. This one, as you can see the marks on there, that is because I stored them out the kitchen because I had no room to put them in the living room and I said to the mister, I said, no, do me a favour and be careful because the paint is still wet and he goes and chucks an item of clothing on top of it. He did apologise, he looked really guilty, bless him. But, like I said, no harm done, because I'm probably going to paint over the top of it anyway. It just, it was a bit of a disaster. The paint went everywhere. Um, I used PVA with it. I tried to do cells. That didn't work. So. Is that going to come off easy? Come on. Just glued. Oh, got it. I was going to say nearly. Because it was glued, it left um some foil behind. Yeah, my lessons learned. I've learned now not to, if you're going to do paint pouring, if you're going to use a metallic colour, use like other acrylics. Perhaps I should have mixed acrylics with a bit of PVA or something. I use PVA glue because I find that when it does dry, it seems to lock slightly better. But I don't know. I, I don't do paint pouring. I just thought I would try it. Whatever's in here feels huge. Yeah, it's like parcel, parcel. Feels quite warm, so I'm glad I got it when I did. And before I light the candle, I'm going to remove the foil. Got to admit, the candle smells amazing. It really does. It's kind of a, a light, fresh scent. 
And for those who are eager to find out, I did go and have my tattoo done. I will be doing a video um, explaining how it went. I was going to do um, like a vlog kind of thing, but it was, no, it was kind of awkward. But I will do a video and show you my tattoo. I can show you right now, but it's still not completely healed. That's a new cord. I see three T C. I think I might be twenty five pound. I will get it. Get it appraised. How do I get it open? Is it there? Was I just? Yeah, I was just looking in the completely the wrong place. Oh, it's so slippery. One. Yep, I got it up. Wow, look at that. That is stunning. Now that is a ring that I would proudly wear. Like, because I can't wear like the big bulky ones you usually get. So I've never had a ring this pretty. That is stunning. Yeah, I usually have the code um, IC2TC, I think it is, which is £25. So I'm hoping this one will praise for a bit more. And if it's. That is stunning. Fair play. And all the jewellery you get from Imperial Candles is all stood in silver. Excuse my phone. Um, yeah, all the jewellery you get is still in silver. They do special deals. They have got a new bath bomb at the moment. Um, it's the happy birthday one. There was also another bath bomb. Um, there's another bath bomb they got out. I can't remember the name of it. But I have got a favourite. Um, it's, oh, it's called Spiritual or something like that. And that is my favourite bath bomb of all time. And I will be getting the happy birthday one as well. Because I like to try the new ones when they come out, which is why I got this. Oh, whoa. What is with me banging stuff? I'm sorry, guys. I nearly knocked over my phone. That wouldn't have been good. So, yeah, like I said, the, the, all the jewellery is done in silver. You can get candles, bath bombs. I would say look out for the deal. My favourite time is Halloween because I'm not sure if it did with Christmas time as well, but for Halloween, um, they do all the Halloween candles and bath bombs. And inside the Halloween candle, you get two pieces of jewellery. I think it costs a bit more because I think the um, candles are about £29.99 in pounds. I'm not sure how it would go in dollars or anything else. But I would say if you go on, you could probably change the currency. But I prefer a Halloween when you've got two pieces of jewellery. And I do like to keep an eye out for what Halloween goodies they come up with. So thank you all so much for watching. Please take care, stay safe and look after yourselves. And I will see you soon. Bye guys.